Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be playing Perfect Risers and let's jump right into the match. Alright, so it looks like we're playing against a Dimension Police player. Nice, we get to go attack first because we're going second. So how I mulligan cards is when I have a grade 1 and a good grade 2 so I can go on the offense in the early game. And it's always good to have 4 more razors, that way you can proc their off perfect riser's ability. By riding the Nimwin Ripple, by using their grade 0 ability, they can search out the grade 2 Nimwin Wave. Not much we can do for our opening hand, but we can just ride into a burst razor. And I like to put my battle razor in the middle, that way I have a good attack my second turn. I was deciding if I wanted to boost with my battle razor, but I wanted the first damage. The reason why I didn't want to boost with battle riser because I would have one less riser, but good thing we drew into another riser. It's pretty nice how Nygmans can just search out the grade 2, that way they don't have to worry about riding. My luck is pretty bad. Let's see if they get triggered or not. Awesome. Looks like we're not getting gain anything. So he's gonna get off with two attacks. I wanted to ride with the blaster jet because I want to have power that way I can have all three attacks in. So here I'm gonna ride with blaster jack, then I'm gonna call it a Captain Jack. And then I'm going to call Grade 1 as a booster. Not for the Vanguard, but I'm going to see if I can get something from the Transpriser first. I'm going to put it right behind Plaster Jack because that way he can have a boost. And I don't need to put it behind the King because he's just going to attack into the Grade 2. Here I'm going to call another King, that way I can have enough to attack the Vanguard first. <laughs> wow, I almost forgot to turn off my restraint. So I'm going to blast one, that way I can attack now, and then I'm, I'm going to use my 16k at row to attack into their 12k. And now I'm going to use my King of Sword on my left side to attack into their Vanguard. And it doesn't matter if they pull a trigger or not, because my attack will always go through. And it looks like they pull a PG, that's very good. Kinda sucks how you pull that heal trigger. Would have been nice if it was just a uh, critical crit trigger or something like that. Alright, so we see the Enigma Storm coming out. So they're gonna call out the Forerunner. Enigma Storm's ability is if they get 15,000 before attacking, they get an extra crit. So here they call the grade 2, which allows them to gain the 4,000 that gets them the crit. Yo, they're actually gonna summon a PG down. Alright, so they're gonna try to attack my rear guards first. This tells them that they don't have a strong board nor a hand, and I think they have another PG in the hand. So here they're gonna use their Vanguard skill to get another crit, and let's see what he gets. He gets one crit, awesome. So that way I can proctor off my PG. Let's see what he gets next. Yo, he gets another critical trigger, that's crazy. Alright, so good thing he I will be taking those four damage and he, I'm gonna block all of them. Now it's time for perfect riser. Alright, here I'm gonna search my soul blast, see if I have enough risers in the soul to proctor off his skill. Looks like we have just the rising mount four and that way I get a boost for every riser and get a crit. So here I'm gonna just make another row, that way I can destroy one of their great T's. I'm looking to see if I get a crit or maybe any triggers to help me. Hopefully he does not have a PG in the hand, but I'm pretty sure he does. So here we check nothing and another nothing, that's okay. And here he checks nothing and a draw trigger of course, but it's okay. We're not that far behind. Final turn. Being cocky now, huh? Well, let's see what he does. He has to deal me four damage this turn. So he has to attack all the way. So he's gonna attack my rear guard first. That's pretty smart. And then he's gonna use Lord's ability. 
So he's gonna rest for his units after his Vanguard attacks. So one he pulls nothing, and then he pulls nothing. Awesome. So here I'm hoping for trigger. That's not one. Hey, we get a heal trigger, but it does. It's like a dud basically, so we can't really use the heal trigger. However, we do indeed need the 10k. So here he stands with his ability. Oh, it looks really nice. And then he's gonna try to attack me, but it's kind of weird because he can't really attack me. Because even if he gets two triggers, he's only gonna be at 25,000. So he's gonna be off by one. Wow, he draws two draw triggers. So that might have lost me the game, but let's see if, if we can counterattack. So here we draw the grade three. So I'm going to skip my ride, call my grade three on the other side, and then I'm gonna attack with him first, and then attack their vanguard with my vanguard. See if I can pull any triggers so I can attack with my eight thousand. Alright, we see nothing and we see nothing, so that's okay. We can still attack the rear guard. Okay, we see the other PG coming out. Hopefully, he does not have another one in hand, because that might screw me up next turn. Alright, let's see what they do this turn. So, what I see is that they have three PGs gone, but they've used seven triggers already. So, it's very unlikely if they do pull a trigger. Six out of 16. Alright, so they have two full rolls. I don't think he's going to use his ability. But hopefully, I'm going to be lucky enough to pull a trigger. So here he attacks with his rightmost. And I pull a critical trigger. Awesome. So now he has to pull a trigger. But it's very unlikely he does. Alright, so one and two. Awesome. Very nice, very nice. So he can't do anything there. So he has to attack with his rear guard first. Alright, there goes my rear guard. And I only have one card so let's see if we, i can drive it awesome that might change the whole game so i'm gonna move back the 8000 then i'm gonna call it so that way i can have a 15k row and hopefully we can pull something here awesome that's great i'm gonna put that on the other side and then hopefully we can get grid one that way you can boost that's a perfect grid one so we're gonna make another row I'm going to declare a final turn because this is how you do a real final turn. So you're going to attack and destroy the, both of their rear guards and hopefully they do not have another PG. I've had bad luck all game so let's see if I can pull any triggers. So here comes our first one. Alright we pull our last critical trigger. I only play two triggers because I think that's all we need. So I'm going to put it on my rear guard that way. There's a chance of stand, and there is no stand. And here we go. Here comes the final attack. He needs a heal trigger, and does he? Awesome! I won my first game. I'm not gonna lie, that was one of the most craziest games I ever played. All right, let's jump to, right into game two. So here we start from the good hand. Our opponent is Royal Paladin. So here I'm just gonna put it like that. Too bad I'm not gonna commit to my second attack, but I will be able to it off the 12,000 and just attack in. All right, so I'm hoping for a draw trigger, and we do get it. We do get an extra card, and we get a perfect visor, which is a nice backup 11k base. And he does pull a critical trigger, so he does waste it. And it looks like we'll be facing a crit deck, and it's very scary to play against one. So after riding, he calls grade 1 for no reason to attack my 6k, then he pulls nothing, which is okay for me, and then I pull a heal dud, but that's gonna be bad for me. So now, I think I'm going to ride into my trans riser, see if I can pull anything, and looks like it's a PG, but that's okay, it's better than nothing, I'll call on my left side, then I'll call my king of sword down, and then proceed to attack with my vanguard first. Hopefully I can pull a trigger here so that way I can guarantee attack and it looks like I don't. And let's see if he pulls a trigger and of course he pulls a draw trigger so I won't be doing two damage this turn. So he's safe for now. And let's see what he rides into and perfect I draw into a PG. And it's really good if he gets another crit. So here he's going to ride into a solitary knight Ganslot. Wow. Normally... Royal Paladin would ride into a Alfred or something like that. 
So he's going to call it a grade 2 for intercept and another grade 1. Normally, Royal Paladins don't play those grade 1 either because they're pretty bad. So he's going to attack into my rear guard. And then he's not going to use his ability to gain 5,000 and a crit. So he's just going to attack him normally and still gets the crit, which is still okay. And now it's time to ride Perfect Riser. And I think his animation is one of the best qualities that there is in the game. And so I'm going to use his ability because I'm not going to use the blast for anything else, really, except for the grade 3. So here I'm contemplating if I want to call the grade 2. But first I need to activate Perfect Riser's ability so I can get the force in the soul and one crit. Since he only has one intercept, so I'm going to call one row to make it so I can destroy the Gansa. And then I think I'm going to call a grade 3. That way I can do another hidden. So first, I'm going to go into battle. Attack into the Gansa lot. Use my grade 3. That's a 10k. And attack into my Gansa lot. Then hopefully now I can attack with my perfect riser. And hopefully he does not have a BG. So let's see what we get first. Nothing and a nothing. That's okay. So here he does not have a PG, so that's good to know. If I were him, I wouldn't have done that. I would have just been pretty desperate and tried to end the game there by blasting 4 and then get crit 3. But instead, he wants to call 2 grade 2s and then tries to end the game this way. Unfortunately, I do not pull a defensive, so he's able to do all his attacks. But he's going to attack with his Gansaw first, then he draws a draw trigger. But little does he know, I have a PG, so I do survive this round. It would have been nice if he had drawn a heal trigger, but he does not. And it looks like I might be able to take the game unless he drew two PGs in that draw trigger. I think here he's going to tag me to my rear guard because, oh wow, he actually tagged me to my vanguard. So that would lead me to fight damage, but I'm not sure why he would do that. Unless he does have PGs and he does think he's going to live another round. So here I'm going to ride again with my perfect riser to get another battle riser, which is very helpful. Because I'm not going to do anything with my blasts. So next, I think I'm going to call an intercept down because just in case for next round, if he does survive another round. I'm going to attack accordingly, just removing their intercepts, and then see if I can attack all the way in with my perfect riser. So, moment of truth. Here we go. First trigger. Nothing. Second trigger. Nothing, of course. But it's okay. And we do take the game. It's kind of impossible for drawing two huge trees, and he does not. And we take the game. All right.